Hey guys, welcome to Vidivic Arts. I'm Josh, and today we have a pretty cool model. Now, we've been working on a whole range of Helldivers models, so if you're interested in Helldivers, then uh, th if you're interested in 3D printing them, I've been working on all of the bugs. So, you're welcome to check out all of the videos. The link will be yeah, available up there in the corner, in the top right hand corner. So click over there if you've missed any of the other videos to date. Now, today we've got another big guy. This guy in particular is very annoying. He's actually, he's recently become one of the most annoying bugs in the game. He used to be really easy to kill, you just grab a railgun, shoot him in the leg, and then shoot him a little bit more in the leg and they die. But now, it, it's not so easy. There's actually, there's quite a lot of uh, skill that goes into taking these guys down, along with a whole bunch of the other bugs. I'm loving the game, I hope you are as well. Uh, this is this is just one of the many, many enemies in Helldivers, the Charger. So, let's have a look at how he was made for 3D printing over on the big screen. Let's get it up. So this guy was modeled over on ZBrush. If you haven't seen any of the other videos, you might have noticed that I take this lump of clay and then sculpt it into these shapes. Now, it, this is pretty much exactly what ZBrush is. It's as close as you can get to sculpting with clay but in a 3D space, uh, well, on your computer, because clay is normally sculpted in a 3D space as well. But yeah, on a computer, 3D sculpting. It's a very, very useful tool, and I kind of feel very at home using it to sculpt, like, biological stuff. These bugs are very biological. I, I, I'm really enjoying making them. Kind of dreading making um, some of the mechs. I don't know if I'll be able to just slap it into um, ZBrush and just sculpt away, but I've also got the added benefit with ZBrush uh, and the fact that I've been making bugs non-stop of stealing some of the components from the other bugs. Now I've sort of recycled the back plate from the bile um, spewer on this guy and I've stretched it out and completely changed it but I got that that fundamental shape from the bile spewer so yeah it's, it's kind of cheating but at the same time I still sculpted over the top of it and changed the overall look to make uh, make that 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 you know shield plate the carapace armor so yeah that's that's him. That's all of it all together. I, I tend to take a lot of these ZBrush models and bake them down onto low poly mo models to make nice little um, renders and textured textured models that look like they're in game. I've, I've been really, really adoring doing this. I think it brings the models to life. You can see all of the different um, models that have been textured over on my Colts 3D page. This is where you get all of my models. The link will be in the description below. And you can see that all of them are, you know, they're all rendered nicely now, and they've all got, like, little animations and stuff. And I genuinely believe that it, it just brings brings these models to life, as opposed to just, uh, uh, just you know, just a straight screenshot of, um, you know, your, your 3D printing file. So that's it. That's that. That's the model. That's, that's all we have today. The Charger. It is available over on Colts in the link in the description below, as said before. If you want to support me here over on YouTube, please... Please leave a like and a little comment below. It actually helps me quite a lot. Got to, got to fight that algorithm. And the uh, apparently comments do a lot of work. Now you don't have to go over to Patreon. You don't have to do anything like that. Just leave a comment for me and, and let me know what you think of these uh, new videos that I'm pumping out. I hope you guys are enjoying them. I'm enjoying making them. And um, well, yeah, I, I hope I, I see you in the next one. And as always, stay awesome, guys. It's time to dive.